Hello everyone and welcome to a performance oriented challenger from Audi in the form of the S3. This performance sports sedan is a hot rodded version of the new A3. So in today's video, let's find out everything in detail about this 2022 Audi S3. But before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that subscription button. You know the drill. Go to the bell icon press it so that you never miss any notifications from this channel now there are few changes on this s3 compared to the standard a3 version so there are the bits which i'm going to be coming around and showing you there are also optional extra on this s3 so let's start from the front you get this big grill out here with this silver dashing around this s3 badge and the audi rings in the chrome finish at the bottom you would find the silver color uh, front splitter out here and also there are these vents on both the, there are actually these grills on both the sides so the thing is the on one side this grill is actually covered and on this side this grill is open so i'm guessing there is some sort of cooling feature for which this side is open but yeah it looks a little odd when you figure it out and there are also these silver plates on the end plates on these grills on both the sides these um, it's actually this color which is the daytona gray color on which this silver kind of fades out but if you go for a yellow or a black or let's say red or a green then the, these 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 accents that they have given they really you know start to show off there is also this line out here near the bonnet which is a typical audi thing where yeah it's just like a plastic trim which has been covered but it's only for the design feature now when you come to these lights these are the matrix headlight cluster completely led headlight cluster there are also drls out here and not just that these headlights also do a bit of dance the moment you start up there will be like a design that will go on and yeah it's it's kind of your own light show that you can you know have and let people see it when you start the car not just that even when you switch it off it does happen and there are also cornering lights inside them and these same drs also convert into the turn signals and the the meaning of matrix headlight is that it would just dim the lights in, onto the oncoming traffic or if you're following a car so it would just blacken out that patch so it just does not hurt the eyes of the the, the drivers in front of you or the drivers on the opposite but the design language of the a3 has been very well you know merged with the a4 a6 and the a7 in fact i recently did a review of the rs7 so you can click on the pop-up banner out here and you can watch a detailed review video of the audi rs7 so this new s3 continues to have the same form factor as the old s3 but on this you get 19 inch uh, alloy rims in this i don't know what pattern is that it looks sort of fan blades around but i don't know let me know in the comment section below how what do you think of this design and you also get the s badge red color brake calipers there's also a silver color skirting at the bottom so it protrudes out a little bit from the side body there are also these arches with like shoulder lines out here like thick ones which continue till the back now when you come to these side mirrors they are power foldable they are also power adjustable they have the blind spot warning there is also the turning lights inside the side mirrors now these doors are smart keyless entry door handles and all the four doors are smart keyless entry not just the driver and the passenger in the front so all four and there is also an s plate on the door sill so that illuminates at night and there is this chrome surround around these windows and in the back there are again these 19 inch rims these are the performance based rims and not just that there's also the audi sport badging on these rims as well so this 2022 audi sa shares its platform with vw's mqb evo platform which is pretty much available across its entire range of cars across different manufacturers so be it Seat, be it Skoda, be it Volkswagen, then it also goes into the Audi. Now, when we continue in the rear, you get LED tail light cluster, and there are also dynamic turn signals which you will find. There is also an S3 badging out here, the Audi ring. There is also this small lip spoiler out here, very small one. In the bottom, you get these the same sort of 
plastic vents like the grill out here in the honeycomb shame of both the sides and they are covered ones this time not the open ones so out here the consistency is maintained there are also the silver color end plates on both the sides but the thing is the on the s3 that's what you get different the the front and the rear bumpers are differently designed than the a3 the standard one but it, because on the standard one you get a rather plain looking bumper out here at the bottom of this bumper you would find this plastic diffuser but i'm pretty sure yeah it's more of just the visual one but it's not really functioning or anything but nonetheless it looks pretty clean and pretty nicely done and if you notice there are a couple of exhaust tips on both the sides and first of all i am happy to report these are the real exhaust tips so these dual exhaust tips on both the sides are chromed ones and they are the functioning ones all four of them quite hard to believe but yes when it comes to the visibility it's actually pretty decent when you look at it even though the the rear windscreen is uh, sloping down but it still gives you decent amount of visibility there are just few pillars but doesn't matter and when it comes to the boot space in the standard setting you can put 340 liters of luggage in the back there are also scuff plates out here so that you don't damage your bumpers in the back the, at the bottom of this boot floor there is also first i have to remove so there is this thing there is also this net which has been provided in the back so you can tie down your luggage or anything if there is you know something that needs to be put in place properly and it should move around so yeah you have to remove that and at the bottom of this boot floor you would find a temporary spare wheel along with all the tool kits and there are also some more storage on both the sides a little bit of storage there is also another anchor point out here which is like a foldable one so it automatically folds away but if you have some bags or anything shopping bags you can tie them up out here there are also tying hooks at the bottom in which you can plug this netted storage but the the boot space overall is quite horizontal that way it's like a slot and it's a longer one and also the floor is a little raised up so you have to kind of you know pick up your luggage and put it in and then take it out but the rear seats are also foldable in a ratio of 40 is to 20 is to 40 but usually they fold in 40 is to 60 i'm going to explain when we go inside but that can only be folded from here in the front so let me just do one seat and show you so when i fold these rear seats you can put 1220 liters of luggage now and the thing is now the the whole boot space becomes pretty wide and you know in certain cars sedans when the boot space when the rear seats are folded down there's a bit of an arch that follows with it but on this there's nothing like that so you get like a longer one now instead of the shorter one so which is why you get that 1220 liters of boot space but the boot space now feels a little more usable with the rear seats folded down and it's actually pretty even so the s3 also gets the update on the interior as well again it aligns with the new product lineup which is the a4 a6 a7 all the newer uh, cars which are coming up or have been launched already so on this one also you get that cutting edge sharp looking interior feel as well so let me start with the basic interior quality so you get soft touch dashboard out here but the thing is there is this stitching that they have given the red and gray one which starts from somewhere on the other end and then ends from here somewhere i don't know it should have been just finished inside but i don't know maybe it looks good let me know in the comment section as usual and yeah you get soft touch out here in the dashboard in the center near the driver the door cards again are soft touch plastic but just at the bottom it just becomes normal plastic we're going to be resting hands yeah that's again soft touch with the stitching around that plastic nice fit and finish to it even these door handle designs the ones where you open the doors yeah they are also pretty cool and stylish and there are also mood lights which are given out here in the door cards and also completely surrounding the dashboard at the bottom 
near the infotainment screen and that light can be controlled from the infotainment screen and there are multiple options and there are also surface lights and contour lights and also photo lights so lots of lights that you can change those uh, contour lights you can change separately and also the the surface lights which are out here on the dashboard you can change them separately so lots of color options that you can do on this one there is also this aluminum plate which has been given which has the quattro badging on it this time it doesn't illuminate but there is another car on which it illuminates which was the rs7 so if you want then yeah you can just go back and watch that video as well now when you come to the other material quality you get glossy black plastic out here near the the gear handle and out here it's soft touch the seats are leather but i'm gonna come to that as well but yeah overall the fit and finish is pretty good the usual audi standards now when you come to the driver's display you get a 12.5 inch tft screen on your dashboard which houses your gauges on both the sides and in the center you can see some more information not some more actually you can see a lot more information so the standard when you start the car your view is the date and time and then you have to scroll through different menu options so the buttons are given on the left side so the center information can be changed where you see your date and time you can see your fuel levels you can see the consumption you can see the short term memory you can see the long long term memory the fuel consumption then also the energy consumption which shows you what's consuming petrol uh, on this car so right now is the air conditioning so it shows the energy gauge as well then you can also go to the right side or the left side and then there is the media option which you can see then the phone option if it's connected then the navigation option and then you come back to the same driving data information screen and on both the sides these dials and these uh, the information on the left side can also be customized in the dial that information can be customized from the infotainment screen so you can go into the settings and change what you want to see but not just that you can even go inside this infotainment screen and you can even change the different layouts that you get so there are three different layouts that you can change on this audi's virtual cockpit watch the what they call so there is the sport there is the s performance option and there is also the dynamic so the sport is the standard view which i have shown you that you can configure there's the s performance and when you go that you can even configure that view as well that's more sporty and i rather prefer that view because yeah you have a center rev counter and in the middle of that there's digital speed there's dynamic also designed so you can configure that as well but that looks a little you know confusing to me so i just prefer the s performance option for me but yeah you get three different uh, layout options on this virtual cockpit as well now when you come to the steering wheel this is a leather covered steering wheel with the red stitching on the inside there's also the s batching the audi rings out here and this is like a half perforated steering so if you got me resting hands that's all perforated and it's a very slim design that way but it's pretty sporty steering wheel and not just that the steering wheel is also tilt and telescopic so you can adjust both and get the best driving position that you want and there are also paddle shifters which are given in the back but those are plastic ones and very tiny ones in that ways but yeah because this is an a, a performance version so there's more possibility that you may use that so i wish it was like a longer one so when you're turning around yeah it's just easier to you know uh change the gears while on the move and on the right side you would find the controls for your infotainment your media controls and also the communication controls and also there is a mysterious star button which can be customized from the infotainment screen so you can go inside the menu option and then you can change all the different uh, options which are available for this star button to be customized now once we continue on the left side you get the buttons to control the driver's display and all the buttons are given out here there is also a view button so when you change that view button you can basically change the view on your screen as well so you can have less uh, dials on both the sides and more screen so that's one of the features and you can have more information laid out in the center and in that my favorite view is when you put the navigation system and then you have big uh, you know navigation screen and just two small dials on both the sides so yeah that's also one of the cool features of this screen and the screen is actually pretty crisp and clear as well even during the day night 
so yeah there is not uh, if there is direct sunlight you can still uh, still see it very clearly because it's a matte finish and not the glossy one there is also normal cruise control which has been given on this audi s3 and the stick is given on the left side behind the steering wheel and it's quite easy to understand there's also the limiter so it comes with the cruise control and also the limiter on this s3 now when you come to the air conditioning system i am pretty happy that everything has been button controlled and button operated on this s3 it hasn't gone down to the haptic feedback or the button one so yeah good job audi to maintain these buttons on the s3 so it's pretty straightforward so you get the on and off button on this one and then you can even switch on the ac or keep it on eco or the max mode or you can switch it off as well if you want just the fan then you can adjust the fan speed and also on both the sides you can adjust the temperature so you get tri zone air conditioning system on this s3 but in the back you can just adjust the temperature and not the fan speed there is also the flow of air button the auto and everything out here the flow of air so yeah it's pretty straightforward and yeah you would just understand it's just that the buttons are not marked but there is an on-screen uh, option which shows you what buttons you know do what so yeah that's still pretty sorted out there are also more buttons given at the bottom of the air conditioning uh, screen so the the buttons are for your drive select so you get four different driving modes actually five different driving modes on this audi s3 which is your efficiency your uh, comfort the auto you leave it on auto and let the car figure out what's the best mode for you then the dynamic and the individual when you go into the individual mode you can even customize that individual mode to show you the drive system you can change that the steering the engine sound so three things that you can uh, change the engine sound is basically also uh, changed using the the through the speakers inside so yeah you can change that engine sound from that as well on this audi s3 you also get a different layout of the air conditioning vent so there are two big vents which are given out here on top so which is why you see like these two bit of blocks out here and on the passenger side you get two vents which are merged into the dashboard but you for some reason you get two vents out here so you have to control both of them it's also continued in the rs3 also which is going to be coming up in the 2022 sometime in march somewhere in uae but i've done a first look of the audi rs3 so you can click on the pop-up banner out here and you can watch the first detailed walk around of the audi rs3 in which there is a fair few changes but more performance oriented that way now once we continue you get a 10.1 inch pretty amazing infotainment screen on this s3 which is nicely merged onto the dashboard as well you get glossy plastics on both the sides but i love the fact how cleverly it's been merged onto the dashboard especially when it's switched off you wouldn't notice that there's a screen out here because it just fits very well here and even the layout of the the infotainment system is pretty clean and simple and i've mentioned this before also how the arranges their icons in the different color options so there's a yellow color option yellow or orange color option which is for your media the green ones all the icons with the green dash at the bottom are for your communication blue ones for the navigation red is for your car settings and white is for any help or any uh, uh, any support that you want from the car system so you can go inside and then find that so yeah pretty straightforward and simplified so on your main screen you would find the the radio options the media options and inside the media options you would find the connectivity options so in terms of the connectivity you can connect to this infotainment system on the s3 using the bluetooth usb and for some reason there is only wireless apple carplay but the wired android auto so yeah that needs to be figured out to make it both wireless and then yeah but it's still all right i mean you just have to think of carrying a wire that is just it but yeah if it was wireless it would have been just easy and i don't have to remember anything and then there is the telephone option then there is the inbuilt navigation system and the inbuilt navigation system the thing is that this system is pretty light and it's pretty quick which is what i like so yeah using the maps on this is also going to be a charm that way and once we continue there is the phone app so when you're connected to the android auto or the apple carplay you can see the connection settings inside there and the more detailed settings 
for your car are inside this menu option which is the car so when you press that you get the audi drive select so you can select the different driving modes the efficiency assist you can go inside and even the ac controls that you can change the lights and the vision i mentioned you can change all the mood lightings inside or the exterior lights there's also the parking aid then there is the driver assist in which you can change the side assist the rest recommendation and all of those settings safety settings then the detail settings and the service in which you can uh, change the steering wheel button which i had mentioned the start button on your steering wheel the hold assist and different information inside tire pressure wiper change and all of that then the favorites if you want to uh, keep certain favorite options on your screen you can change that and that's pretty much it in this uh, menu option then we go out and then there is the favorite option the settings option inside when you go then there is the general option in which you can change your units and everything then the display language sound so in terms of the sound you get 14 speaker bang and olufsen sound system on this s3 and they've always sounded pretty good even on the sides there are many options for your home quick options for your home your radio your media your phone and also the connectivity to the android auto the apple carplay you can even swipe down and you can see your uh, warnings or anything and the date and the time or your user profile if you want to change or the sound settings quick on the move so it's for that so overall yeah it's a very good system to use and it's not a fuzz immediately you can get in and start using it now one thing that you would notice is that even on this s3 the gear lever has disappeared and instead you have a knob now which has replaced that now this knob was also available on a fair few cars nowadays so there was it's, it was in the skoda octavia you can click on the pop-up banner out here and you can watch a detailed review of the skoda octavia as well and not just that even on the performance cars which was the volkswagen golf GTI. So again, I've done the re detailed review video of that. So you can click on the pop-up banner out here, and you can watch the detailed review of that as well. And all of that, they have transformed into this shift knob. Now it takes a little while to get used to this gear knob because it's more like yeah, like a button which you have to get accustomed to instead of the stick that you are used to it's clean it gives you more space i understand but yeah it takes a little while to understand how to function especially when you are in the traffic and yeah you are just yeah so used to so and there are also more buttons which are given on both the sides out here for your start stop engine which has a red ring around it and on the right side you would find like a dial which has been given which is like a touch dial so it's a very cool feature so i like how they've they've removed the 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 the, the knob out here from the infotainment screen and they've replaced it out here it's for your volume control your track change or if you want to mute but it's very straightforward and you can just swivel around and then you can reduce the volume or you can increase the volume you can do that it's happening on my screen and even change the track or switch off the infotainment screen or even mute it so yeah pretty quick on the move and yeah very compact as well now when you come to the charging you get two usb type c ports which are given in the front underneath the air conditioning controls there's also a wireless charger which has been given and there is also one 12 volt power socket which has been given out here in the center uh, console and there is also one 12 volt power socket which has been given for the rear passenger in terms of the storage you can put about one to one and a half liter worth of bottle in the door cards and some more storage on the sides but there's no carpet lining a straightforward plastic yeah which has been given you can even use this charging pad to store your phones and wallets out here and there are also two cup holders flexible ones which are given but the cool feature is that they they have this foldable ring around them so when you open them you can unlock the cup holders but if you don't want to use the cup holders you can fold those those stands away and then you can use the entire storage out here instead there's also a storage for your key so you can put that here there's also a center armrest in which you can again put like your wallets and all that's about it it's a pretty small one and it's a slidable hand rest as well but you cover one of the cup holders out here there's also this one glove box which has been given which is lined with nice 
what kind of material out here there is one more small storage which is given for your wallet so you can securely store it out here on the left side next to the steering wheel and in the rear door cards you can put like one liter worth of bottle in both the door cards and also some more storage which has been given and in the center armrest there are two cup holders on this audi s3 you get a decently sized sunroof and it's actually yeah it does the sun is pretty intense it's getting but it's still cooler that's the good thing but yeah so you get a pretty big that way sunroof and yeah for a small sedan this still makes it a pretty decently sized sunroof when it come to these seats these are leather covered black color seats with the diamond quilting in the center with also the s embossing which is again a part of the s packet so which is why you get these diamond quilted seats and also the s embossing on the seats itself and these headrests are the fixed ones and they are more like the sporty seats which is why the headrests are like combined and clubbed into the the whole backrest itself and there is also decent amount of support at the bottom and even on the sides and there's also an extension which is available for a longer journey so yeah that's just the mechanical one so you can extend that as well and not just that these uh, seats that way you may think it's a sport version but it's decently comfortable and yeah they are pretty soft that way and they feel pretty plush and luxurious as well now the driver and the passenger both side seats are eight way electronically adjustable and four way lumbar control on this audi s3 you also get an sos feature which is an emergency contact service so you can press that sos button and if you're stuck somewhere or if you you've been in an accident or somewhere then you can press that and this car would send the coordinates to the the so the the center and their guys can send the help to your way now compared to the previous generation of the s3 this 2022 s3 has decent amount of space that way and there is a little bit of incremental improvement in terms of the space overall in the rear seats but yeah it's still pretty tight that way because you get just about enough of knee room of your even the the seats have a bit of cut out so that they give you an extra bit of room on the headroom side we are doing about decent but yeah someone about six feet will start definitely brushing their heads against the ceiling there's also a cut out given on the ceiling as well to give you that extra bit of space out here for your head but yeah so it's it's that way it's, it's still a little tighter but not just that even the you sit quite low down onto these seats and the floor is slightly raised which is why you see the angle that my legs are making so yeah that way you are a little low down and the seats feel a little upright to be honest i don't know it's just me or i've been just sitting too comfortably in other cars that have a way more you know like a lean angle where i'm like relaxing that is in the back in the rear also you get black colored leather seats with this diamond quilting design and the red stitching out here on both the sides and in terms of the leg space you can slide your legs under the seats but yeah there's not much to it so yeah and you are rather like better with just you know keeping the legs out here but in terms of the comfort level in these rear seats yeah it's pretty comfortable that is decent ones the same comfort levels that you found in the front you would get in the back as well there is also one hand rest which is given out here which has two cu flexible cup holders and in the center you can just put your phones or something like a slot there is you can use that as well and not just that remember i had mentioned that you these seats are foldable in a ratio of 40 is to 20 is to 40 so that folding option is available from here so you can fold down this center armrest completely and then you can load longer objects out here and if you want to access otherwise something from the boot then you can do that as well from here and when it comes to the center passenger if they are going to be sitting but there is this tunnel out here which goes because this is an all-wheel drive system so you get a bit of tunnel out here but when i sit in the middle yeah my head is already kind of brushing the roof right now so yeah because you are quite raised up that way and this seat also has a bit of a bump in the center and even in the back so yeah it's more advisable for two people in the rear seats unless it's a short journey and you can adjust and even the passengers on both the sides can adjust with you 
then yeah you can have someone in the center now there are also a couple of ac vents given in the back along with the dial to control the temperature which is why i said it's tri zone but more or less you can just control the temperature only and not the fan speed there's also one 12 volt power socket out here and in terms of the storage you can put one liter water bottle in the door cards and some more storage there's also this netted storage in both the seats now in terms of the material quality in the door cards it returns to normal plastic for these door cards in the back like completely normal plastic door cards even till the bottom and only where you're going to be resting hands that is just about soft out here with the red stitching out here so yeah that's the only soft bit that you will find on the door card so the audi s3 shares its engine with the so the audi gets the same engine from the volkswagen golf which is a two liter four cylinder turbocharged petrol engine that produces 290 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to a seven speed triptronic transmission while you get the amazing quattro all-wheel drive system which is pretty must if you want a like one of the best handling on a on a on a sports car or even on a performance car or any car which you want to pick up but if you want good handling just make sure to have quattro now the thing is when you put this uh, car in comfort you wouldn't notice that it's hiding 290 horsepower because it cruises quite calmly like there is no sense of urgency and plus the fact that there is a bit of turbo lag which is what i find even when you change different gears the slight bit of hesitation initially it takes a little while but once you cross that 1700 1800 rpm then yeah that boost kicks in let me just quickly shift from the comfort mode into the dynamic mode because that is the fun mode and there's one more perk of going into the dynamic mode and that is immediately the sound just changes the valves open up I mean there is a bit of artificial sound as well which is pumped into the cabin but I don't mind like it's still a fun sounding car after this there are lots of lots of pops and bangs and at lower rpm around the 4000 5000 bang you do get the pops and bang and it's best to take the manual control after that because boy oh boy yes the shifts are super clean they are really smooth you you don't notice that you are in a dynamic mode and you would expect usually in a sporty mode to have uh, the jerky gear shifts but on this one it's pretty smooth like yeah it's just that initial torque which lags from the turbochargers to spool up but once they do why you really start eating up speed and you don't realize you like know, you have crossed a sufficient amount of speed on this but overall the engine and the gearbox combination is pretty good i like how smooth it is and it can deliver when you want the power and when you want the performance and that's what you want from a car which is let's say a performance car now in terms of the efficiency from this two liter turbocharged engine it's very varying that way so in a normal city drive you would get nine and a half to ten kilometers per liter but when you're gonna be doing some hot laps yeah that's when it starts you can hear the pops and the crackling every time i change a gear that's when there is that bit of pops which goes in the back so yeah I, I keep getting distracted so uh yeah on a highway driving or not highway actually when you are doing like hot driving then you would do anywhere between six seven depends on how aggressive you are with the throttle like if you are aggressive like me yeah definitely you will just get around six to seven because because i'm a complete child that way yeah i'm sorry i'm just giving you time to hear that exhaust note because i don't know if my microphones are picking up that that tune but yeah it's it's decent it's it's very decent what you get now when you come to the steering 
you get an electronic steering on the S3 but the thing is it's now with the Audis the thing was that I I used to find them a little softer where you would miss the the real performance kind of steering setup but now they have good weight to it and not just that the only thing is that it lacks a little bit of feedback there is hardness to the steering wheel but there is just light bit of yeah, feedback but the steering itself is very responsive i like how sharp it is it's very sharp and yeah it's even at higher speeds yeah it pretty much handles itself very well which is what i like so yeah on that front the steering is pretty good now when it come to the suspensions you get s package sports suspensions which is a little on the former side but that is to do with the performance types which is why you get the sporty setup but if you want the comfortable ones that is the normal a3 but let me show you a slalom and it's it's pretty behaved that way it's, it's pointy and the car does not hesitate to change directions and which is why it gives you an amazing setup of the steering and the suspension so yeah on that front it's pretty good and even though you still have these seats which will keep you comfortable during the longer journeys now when it comes to the noise and the vibrations it's quite decent but the only thing is there is a bit of wind whooshing especially today it's a windy day and it's also very dusty which is why the car sort of keeps dancing also around but yeah it's there is some amount of leakage from the windows out here but apart from that even though you get a 19 inch alloy rims on this one it's still not too bad the ride comfort is pretty good and there is no tire noise or anything from these tires into the cabin and overall the quality of the interior is pretty good which is why you don't get any noise or or vibrations or anything from inside the cockpit too when you come to the brakes you get four disc brakes on this S3 and they are also the upgraded S calipers that you get so i was in the wrong gear which is why i was in accelerating i was wondering why so yeah you get upgraded S package on this one so let me do a 100 to 0 emergency brake test for you well that distance was pretty short you got to get the emergency stop signal and all of those safety systems along with this which is called as the Audi pre sense all part of that package now when you come to the safety systems on this Audi S3 you get six airbags two for the front driver and the passenger two side airbags for the driver and the passenger two curtain airbags mounted on the spillers there is also child access of fixed points in both the rear seats there is also the Audi pre sense which will sense any danger or anything in front of you or in the back of the car while you are driving and also there is blind spot warning which i had mentioned there is abs there is tire pressure monitoring system there is also the traction control system so the standard uh, safety tech and also there is one single camera reversing system the output from that is pretty good i like the quality from of the output from it it's not dark it's not saturated it's just about perfect now when you come to the pricing the standard s3 is priced at 185000 dirhams while this particular model which has the optional extras that will cost you 202000 dirhams i'm going to put the exact pricing on your screen right now so the thing is it it may sound a little expensive at first but think of it it takes you know effort to build a performance car especially a luxury performance sedan which is quite rare these days you know where people are perfecting that because let's be honest we live in a world of suvs so yeah compared to that it's quite rare and not just that the s3 actually fits perfectly in between the a3 and the rs3 if you want a more performance focused a lot more you know livelier version i mean this is to be honest this is just about borderline 
the performance version of it which is ample for everyday use but if you want something more hardcore then rs3 is going to be launching soon that is the one for you but apart from that this just about fits perfectly and as i said in the world of suvs these days this car still has a lot of juice it's fun to drive boy it's it's a lot of fun to drive it's just love that engine sound and let's be honest it does not cost a fortune to buy a performance car and for that this is a pretty decent option anyways that's pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe